Everybody retains water to some degree at one time or another, but why and what's the best way to lose the so-called water weight? Here with the answers is award-winning chemist and nutritionist and exercise expert, Christine Haranik. Good to have you with us today. Thank you for having me, good morning. So what's, I guess, the biggest thing for people when it comes to retaining that so-called water weight? So there's several factors that can impact water weight. The number one reason is going to be excess carbohydrate intake, where for every one gram of carbs you consume, your body is going to retain three grams of water for every one gram. So it's really easy to see why carbs can bloat you so much. It also can come down to hormone imbalances, fatigue from working out, something called DOMS, which is known as delayed onset muscle soreness. That's when the micro tears in your muscle fibers cause the accumulation of water. It can be an electrolyte imbalance with respect to excess sodium intake, PMS, premenstrual syndrome, hormone imbalances, as well as food intolerances. So let's talk about trying, I guess, to, to, to lose some of that weight and head. When we first go on a diet, you hear some people say, well, you're, you're losing water weight in the beginning of the dieting process. It, is that true? And for the most part, it probably is, depending on how you currently eat. And reducing sodium by lowering your sodium intake to around 2,300 milligrams per day, which is the FDA's recommended daily allowance, that will support a reduction in bloating due to water retention, um, reducing your carb intake. Now, lowering your carb intake, it will directly reduce your water weight because again, one gram of water binds three grams of carbohydrates. So you will see that very common with folks who do keto diets. Um, another thing is actually increasing your water intake if you want to reduce water weight gain. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but while it may seem that way, increasing water intake can actually allow your kidneys to flush out all of the excess fluids and salts and therefore debloating the body. And last but not least, I don't really like to recommend this, but you could use over-the-counter diuretics. And diuretics are something that can help the kidneys expel excess sodium. And as the body is depleted of sodium, it will pull excess fluid along with it. All right, from, from weight gain, is there a way to tell the difference between when you have gained weight because of water or gain weight because of fat? So when you are gaining weight due to water, you're going to feel bloated more in the upper abdomen throughout the whole torso. For instance, you will have a, an overall distension. It will be fuller. It will be, you won't see a dimple texture. Your rings will be tighter. Your shoes and feet may feel a little swollen. So that's a telltale sign of water weight gain, especially like if your rings start feeling tight, however, when it is true weight gain, it tends to be even all over the body or more concentrated in the lower body or lower abdomen, um, depending on how your body naturally stores weight. But you'll see more concentration in the lower body and abdomen, specifically the lower abdomen if it's true fat gain. All right, cool. Well, some good information. We appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Find lots more fitness tips on Christine's website and social media platforms. There are links to them on our website at newschannel5.com.